Okay, now we're gonna travel through the top floor over here, and I actually want to fight a few trainers in this these little rooms here. So the first one's gonna be a fisherman, and he actually has a few Pokemon. He has three in total. He has a Goldeen, Tentacruel, or Tentacool, and a, another Goldeen. I'm all gonna be level 17, so our Ivysaur right here should be able to take it out in a few Razor Leaves. Maybe not. Um, Goldeen might actually look. No, he's not actually. I'm pretty sure. Isn't Goldeen a flying type? I'm pretty sure he is. Maybe I'm wrong on that though. I thought it was only going to be neutral damage, but looks like it's not. It's definitely going to be neutral damage on this Tentacool though, because Tentacool is a poison water type. So we're going to go for a Razor Leaf. He's going to miss Supersonic. That's super good. Means uh, Ivysaur doesn't have any chance to hit himself anymore. So Tentacool is going to go down. And we're almost going to go up to... Actually, we are going to go up to level 29. Nice. So, I think after... We're not going to teach you Sweet Scent. There's really no point of teaching your Pokemon Sweet Scent in this gen. Only if you are in Generation 6 and you're trying to Horde Hunt or something. But we're not in Generation 6. We're in Generation 3. So, we're just going to keep going for some Razor Lease right here. And then, like I was saying before, once we make it up to level 30, I'll stop training up my Ivysaur for a bit. Just because... We've trained him up quite a fair amount in this whole ship right here, so. Now, the next trainer we're going to fight right here is going to be Gentleman Brooks, and he actually has one Pokemon on his team, but a strong Pokemon that he has a Pikachu. So this is a little bit of a practice session for our upcoming battle in the Vermilion City Gym. So I'm just going to go for some Vine Whips right here. He's going to go for a Thunder Wave, paralyze us. Hopefully we don't get paralyzed. Ah, never get lucky with the RNG, that's fine. Um, I think I'm just gonna keep going for Vine Whips though, cause... Oh, this might get really annoying. I might have to actually cut out this battle right here. Okay guys, I actually defeated him. I actually had a few pair hacks and, uh... Misses right there, cause it double team, so... Definitely, definitely had to cut through that, but... If you wanna pick up that Stardust right there... It's, there's really no use for it, you just pretty much sell it. That's all I'm gonna do with it, at least. I don't even know if Stardust has a use other than that. So I don't think there's any trainers in here. Nah, he's gonna tell us about Cut though, which is the HM we're gonna get soon, which is nice. So we're gonna go into this room now, and I'm pretty sure, yeah, there's gonna be two trainers. So the first one's gonna be Dawn, and she has two Pokemon on her team, a Pikachu and also a Rattata. Looks like Pikachu is a pretty popular Pokemon in the SSN, that's for sure. Um, Light bulb should be able to take him out though. We are still paralyzed and heal up my Pokemon after that battle. So hopefully we don't get paralyzed here and there. And hopefully we're able to take out these Pokemon in uh, one shot. I'm pretty sure Pikachu will be able to die in one shot because he is a pretty fit, frail Mon. Until he evolves into Raichu, which he's still pretty frail then. He doesn't have the greatest defenses in the world. Just more so speed and attack stats. So, oh he's actually going to live, okay. So I'm just going to go for a Razor Leaf right here, and he's going to go for a Tail Whip for some reason, like, why, why would you waste your turn on a Tail Whip? I'm already paralyzed and you're almost dead, just attack me, hope for the best man. <laughs> but looks like he's not going to do that, and we're going to take, or, or, I mean her, I've been saying him the whole time, but we're going to take down that last and pick up an X Attack over here. Now X Attacks and X Speeds and all the X items can be pretty use useful during gym battles, the Elite Four battles. Because if your Pokemon aren't exactly strong enough, just use X items and raise their stats and then you'll be able to compete with the other Pokemon that you are going to verse in gym battles or something. Uh, it's a pretty good strategy that I might actually use in the future here and there. But I'm going to stay in against this Growlithe. I actually want to see how much Razor Leaf will do against this thing. I, again, I want to get up Light Bulb to at least level 30 before I switch out again. And it looks like Razor Leaf is actually going to be doing a pretty decent amount of damage. So we're just going to stay in here. He's going to go for an Ember. And Razor Leaf should be able to take out this Growlithe right here. So that's pretty much... Actually, he has one more Pokemon. I thought he was one of the trainers with only Growlithe on his team. But he's going to have one more Pokemon on his team, which is a Ponita. Also level 17. You shouldn't have much trouble with this Ponita if you already took out the Growlithe. Ponita, it's a strong Pokemon, but its defenses aren't the greatest in the world. Mostly if you have a water type. Easy, easy KO. Uh, he did take it a little nicer than Growlithe, though. Um, if you want to pick up a Ponita, it's a pretty good fire type. It evolves into Rapidash. Rapidash is a pretty good Pokemon. It can learn Wild Charge and then 
I don't know if we're gonna learn Wild Charge actually in Gen 3, but it's a pretty good Pokemon all around. Doesn't have the greatest move pool in the world, but still a pretty viable fire type in this game. So Light Bulb didn't exactly go up to level 30 right there, which kind of sucks. He actually might go up to level 30 in this next battle, or these next few battles that we are going to do. Now, I don't think there's actually any more trainers here. Um, we have one more battle on this um, floor right here, but it's a little surprise. I don't know if you guys know what I'm talking about, which trainer it is, but you guys might be able to guess. Okay, we're, there's no trainers here, so I'm just going to go up to the deck over here and grab a few items, actually, before we fight the next trainer. Now, there's nothing re really here. If you talk to that sailor out there, he doesn't really do anything. So, once you make it onto the deck, there's actually two trainers that you get to fight here. Uh, I don't know if there's any items, though, but you could definitely get some EXP if you really want to do that. You know what's funny? They still haven't set sail yet. Like, why Why haven't you set sail yet? It's been almost, like, 10 minutes since I got on the ship. I know it takes a while to get a ship going, but why haven't you set sail yet? I want to go on a, I want to go on a trip, guys. But we're going to take out this Machop here with some Vine Whips, unless we get paralyzed like we did right there. He's going to go for Focus Energy. And this Machop's actually looking kind of scary at this point, because he does have a potential of getting some critical hits here and there. Low Kick might even kill. Ooh, actually, never mind. <laughs> that was even a critical hit, never mind. That's uh, that's kind of embarrassing for that much off. But we're gonna go up to level 30 here. And I wonder if Light Bulb even falls at level 30. I think, I don't know if he does. I'm pretty sure he does. I'm pretty sure uh, Venusaur or Ivysaur evolves at level 32. So we might not see a Venusaur evolution just yet. That'd be pretty crazy though. Or already on the third gym, or only on the third gym at that. And we're all already um, a Venusaur, which is... Again, pretty crazy. So we're going to switch back into our Robin here, take out this tentacle for the final blow. Just because our Ivysaur is kind of beaten up. Yeah, it looks like he's not going to evolve. I was getting ready to be silent there, but it looks like we don't have to. So I'm going to continue on with our Robin right here and take out this last trainer before the special battle that we'll have. So this trainer shouldn't be any harder than the last one. The only difference is his Machop's one level higher and he has a... Shelter, which is level 18, instead of a tentacle, which is level 17. So, I'm just going to go for a, pe for a peck right here. It should be able to take out the Machop in one shot, which it does. Flying is super effective against fighting types, and not going to go up a level there. So, Shelter is going to come out now, and all we really have to watch out for is Icicle Sphere, or even missing a Fury attack right there. So, Icicle Sphere won't really do that much damage, though, even though it is super effective, so we don't have to worry about that. Um, hopefully it doesn't hit five times, because that's a little bit annoying. It's hit four times already. Yeah, it's not going to hit a fifth. Nice. Four times, five times is not really a difference. Hopefully we can get some good RNG here and hit five times. I think we actually only need four times, but... Nice, we hit four times. Okay. We'll take that. So the shell is going to go down, and our Robin's going to get a little bit of EXP. So that's pretty much it for the trainers on the SSN. I, if I missed any, I'm sorry, but I don't think there are any more things on the SSN to, or people to actually battle, not things. So after you're done all of that, come over here, and actually I'm going to heal up my Pokemon before we do this, so I'll see you guys in a bit. Okay guys, I have finally healed up my Pokemon, and I do recommend doing this before you actually go into this battle, because you're going to fight your rival for the fourth time. Now, this battle can be pretty hard, it depends on what level your Pokemon are. Um, this Pokemon changed from a Pidgeotto, um, from a Rattata to a Raticate, and from a Abra to a Kadabra. Uh, the Pidgeotto doesn't change, of course, that's why I didn't say the other Pokemon, but he does go up a level, I'm pretty sure, and then he has a level 20, whatever starter you chose. Uh, if you chose a Bulbasaur, he'll have a Charmander, if he, if he chose a Squirtle, he'll have a... Uh, Bulbasaur, and if you chose a Squirtle, he'll have a... Oh wait, I said that already. If he has a Bulbasaur, then he'll have... You know what? I'm confused. I'm gonna stop now. I'm making a fool of myself. We're just gonna keep going for Pex right here. <laughs> that moment when, that was a little bit confusing, but... Yeah, he'll have the stronger Pokemon over your Pokemon. So, make sure you watch out for that too, because... Um, he also has a second evolution as well, of his starter, so... That's one thing to look out for, but we're just going to stay in, go for Pex, and take down his Pidgeotto. Uh, Fira always coming up on top over Pidgeotto, in my opinion, and Pidgeot. 
stronger Pokemon in general. So we're just gonna stay in here, go for some packs. I think Fero actually might be able to solo this. I don't know for sure though, we'll see. Radicate's gonna go down it. And sadly, I think that's like one of the last times we'll see his Radicate as well. Uh, people say that you kill his Radicate, but I don't know. Maybe maybe it's n not just you who killed him. Maybe he died some other way. Because after you battle the Radicate in, in the SSN here, this will be like the last time you see it. And later on in the game, when you go to Lavender Town, which is like a ghost town, you'll actually see your rival there and he'll be talking about how he's, he's paying his respects to his lost Raticate and people think that you killed on the SSM because Gary wasn't able or Blue wasn't able to make it to the Pokemon Center in time so it, it's a weird story but we defeated our rival um, while talking about his dead Raticate which is kind of weird in a way but whatever that was an easy battle it looked like our Pokemon was able to solo it and now after that you should come over here and talk to the cap captain of the ship. Now, he will ask you, ask you to rub his back, which is kind of creepy in a way. A little kid rubbing an old man's back, a random old man's back at that. And he'll give you HM cut as the reward. Now, that's pretty much it in the SSN. That's all you really need from the SSN. Uh, you could level grinding bin, then you really need... The only thing you came in here for is really HM01 cut. So... I'll cut here and I'll see you guys in a bit after I heal up my Pokemon and everything. Okay guys, I'm going to end off the episode here. If you did enjoy, go ahead and tell me what you like in the comment section down below and also give me some criticism. I really appreciate it. I will be taking on the Vermilion City Gym next episode and also the Gym Leader. So anyways, if you guys like this video, shoot that like button with a comment and me out.